welcome back to the techno communism conversation um, there's a little bit of a delay there but uh, uh, oh well um, um, I'm your host Dr. Ryan uh, some say uh, one of the most important political philosophers of our time some say perhaps even a long awaited techno messiah of earth that's of course a joke I'm your humble comrade and revolutionary cybernetic socialist uh, writer. And I'm going to talk about what the meaning of labor is in the 21st century, and are redefining intellectual and manual labor in this revolutionary cybernetic socialist uh, framework. As I have described on this program uh, many, many times, particularly in recent weeks, um, <clears throat> I believe that we are entering an era in mid-2024, by 2025, where we will uh, have uh, transitioned from um, being able to use uh, open uh, source uh, large language uh, models for ordinary writing assistance and digital assistance tasks of the kind that you can use uh, uh, many such things um, online now very easily. You can also uh, download them to your computers and uh, uh, use them offline. And uh, we are moving from this uh, time when we have uh, these uh, LLMs which are able to do academic writing uh, to perhaps able to plan um, and work as a true assistant with you. Um, and these uh, generally referred to as AI agents. And um, most people who use this term, AI agent, would probably not uh, use the term uh, that I have used, agentariat, uh, to describe an evolution of the uh, proletariat, because um, while it is of interest uh, that you can uh, transition in, in the course of 2024 from being able to, uh, to do um, high-level academic writing, to be able to plan uh, more complex undertakings uh, with uh, digital a free digital assistant. Um, um, it is of far greater interest uh, the impl socio-political implications of this. Um, as I would give an example, um, um, there are uh, countries that have uh, been uh, robbed by the fascist West and continue to be robbed by the fascist West. Now, one such country would be uh, Nigeria, which is a very, very large city, Lagos, which resides on uh, a coastline. And uh, this is a very large city of approximately 25 uh, million people um, um, because of the uh, ongoing theft and so forth. Um, does not have uh, the infrastructure uh, to supply all of those people with the amount of water that they might like. Uh, the amount of potable water even that they might require in some cases and um, <clears throat> um, but because they are on a coastline at um, let's say a graphene um, a nano filter um, 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 desaliniz desalination plant of a perhaps a new design or perhaps a existing design but um, requiring a good deal of, of, of uh, design labor and and human uh, effort uh, to construct uh, it could be built there but it hasn't been built because it's very costly and um, uh, so imagine that you have uh, let's say uh, the good folks of the anonymous uh, type organizing um, uh, decide that they want to um, instead of making practical jokes and things um, um, uh, work uh, with one another using uh, these AI agents in this proto-agentariate um, and let's say 10,000 of them all download the next generation of Mistral on their computer in August of 2024 and uh, begin um, uh, figuring out how to help uh, physically and in every respect financially um, um, conceptually uh, do all of the design and, and building necessaries uh, for 
this um, uh, for this um, plant outside of Lagos. Um, that would be something that would, um, I believe, without uh, AI agents, um, uh, require um, more specialized expertise and um, and uh, more resources than it would in this context, where perhaps uh, some thousands of people uh, could uh, put together the resources uh, for this project. Uh, so if you would uh, have a thing that requires 30,000 people um, operating in this agent uh, network uh, to transform a city, what could 30 million people do? Uh, and I believe that the answer would be something like uh, the next uh, uh, round of problems after taking care of uh, people in various locales is um, um, ending the effects of climate change. And, um, and uh, so I believe this is a, uh, a transformative uh, a time and a transformative set of concepts and ideas, uh, an idea whose time has come. And um, uh, repetitive tasks are, are often described as being uh, performed increasingly by automation, uh, robots and machines. And the kind of uh, low effort analysis on the part of AI pundits is that um, um, is that this is now extending into uh, management and white collar and all and all manner of blue collar uh, work uh, that uh, are, that do not that did not require um, manual the same kind of manual labor or repetitive tasks. It's, for example, about 55% of Americans work um, in service. Um, and generally, or almost all, are not paid enough to live. Um, and uh, uh, so the, um, the AI analysts, such as they are, these are all capitalists, the, not people to be trusted or whose words have any real meaning at all, um, uh, will point out that um, uh, this um, jobless apocalypse is coming uh, for us all. But of course, it's um, a, pro a problem uh, fundamental uh, to capitalism uh, because um, um, uh, full automation or near full automation is affected in many, many sectors, including what was the most significant sector throughout, um, uh, of course, the last 30,000 years um, of farming. So those Farming jobs have been nearly fully automated for many, many decades, um, in uh, for, for all intents and purposes. And um, but of course, the farm workers were not the beneficiaries of that. Uh, private capital uh, was the beneficiary of that. And those people, uh, 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 far less from being the owners of those sectors, um, um, you might assume, in a slightly less psychopathic world. Um, they're not even given, uh, they and their descendants are not even given the, um, uh, the social safety net uh, features uh, to ensure that they ha continue to have a good life despite uh, this in in encroaching automation. So this is a problem well before uh, the advent of advanced algorithms, digital technology. Um, and um, it's a problem that um, uh, people who are elitists People who are fascistic-minded, uh, so-called capitalists, um, um, uh, happily ignore and have all manner of rationalizations for. And by and large, um, the conversation about um, advanced computing uh, today is uh, more such rationalizations. Um, there are almost no um, uh, scientific socialist um, AI thinkers that I have observed. Um, uh, some people uh, have some stop clock phenomena uh, where they're right on one or two things and wrong on almost everything else, and those people are to be disregarded as well, whether they call themselves capitalists or not, in my view. Um, uh, this, um, uh, this world of uh, collaborative problem solving through AI run institutions um, is, uh, uh, I think, in a few short years, will become the superstructure of our world, effectively um, uh, consigning to the dustbin of history uh, much of what we think of as the nation-state uh, today, uh, be it uh, 
scientific socialist, the preferable form, or um, uh, elitist and fascistic, uh, the forms that are presently killing the planet and must be overthrown. Um, uh, there is uh, no discussing this without uh, discussing the need for uh, the open sourcing of uh, ad advanced computing tools themselves. Uh, this is um, almost could be said to be synonymous with the cybernetic socialist uh, worldview, the re revolutionary uh, aspect um, uh, that I've tagged on, of course, um, uh, describes the exigency uh, for the overthrow of uh, these more fascistic institutions, most notably uh, the United States military industrial complex, um, a trillion dollar uh, super polluter, in fact, the world's worst polluter, um, whose only job, it doesn't help people. Um, it creates instability uh, domestically and abroad of the highest order. Its only real job is to protect other super polluters, other uh, corporations uh, that should not exist at all, but they are instead protected by the fascist United States. This is an abomination, unlike any other. That's why I'm uh, running a write-in presidential uh, campaign. You can uh, write in uh, Yohannan Ben Zion. Uh, that's uh, J O H A N N O N uh, B E N Z I O N. And um, uh, my uh, f uh, first duty. Um, as a president of the United States would be to sign an executive order that I have written uh, that would uh, dismantle the federal government, uh, restoring it uh, to its rightful uh, stewardship in the hands of existing uh, Native American uh, semi-autonomous nations. Uh, the structure of the U.S. states would have fundamentally uh, remained the same, um, uh, but there would be no more uh, super-polluting monstrosity um, and um, uh, the world would begin to heal as a result. Um, uh, even in the off chance that I'm not elected president, in the off chance that I'm not the long-awaited techno-messiah, uh, Marxist techno-messiah of Earth, I ask you to um, 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 uh, band together. Uh, you must organize uh, and prepare to fight to see that these things happen, because we live in this world, uh, this Western-dominated world, um, uh, this white supremacist world, uh, people who are uh, moral cowards. Uh, they, um, they know uh, that humanity will be extinct soon because of the United States and fascist West. Um, and they know that they will be burned to a crisp at some time, perhaps um, in as little as 35 years. And because of this, if they don't take specific kinds of actions today, but they don't take those actions, they're not physical cowards, right? They're not afraid of dying, apparently. Um, um, they're moral cowards. They're elitists. Uh, they're um, uh, the, the fascistic-minded among us instead of the socialistic-minded among us. And um, uh, so uh, more than, say, uh, voting for a fringe a presidential candidate, um, 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 in a um, um, in a write-in campaign, uh, more than say voting at all or any uh, kind of actions along those lines, uh, you must prepare uh, for a fight against these fascists, and you must organize and build the kind of um, um, a structure uh, that could uh, defeat them and replace them. Uh, which is why I talk about uh, uh, this uh, superstructure of the agentariat. Um, as a thing that will um, uh, be able to um, render obsolete uh, the um, uh, more fascistic nation-state nation mechanisms. Um, and it is a thing that allows people representation, uh, fundamentally democratic, let's say. And um, um, it is a thing that uh, uh, allows them, most importantly, um, uh, to uh, live in a humane and sustainable world there are not a billion people who never have um, <clears throat> uh, sufficient potable water or uh, proper food or shelter who, ha who are lacking, severely lacking one of those three things throughout the course of their lives and then die a natural, un unnaturally short number of years later. Um, that is not a world of intelligence, my friends. Uh, that is a hell world.
Uh, and there's a hell world that's been built by people of European descent who have imposed their fascistic uh, institutions and fascistic economic system upon the rest of the world. Um, and um, they have no regard for their own well-being. They're killing themselves by these systems. Uh, so these ruling elites uh, who uh, put you in this position of being in danger, endanger themselves. If you were in that situation in, say, um, an ordinary day-to-day uh, -day circumstance where someone were holding a gun to your head and um, um, saying, I'm going to kill you and then kill myself, uh, you would be within your rights to end their life. And you are within your rights to behave similarly towards uh, these fascist ruling elites. Um, uh, I'll, I'll switch gears a little bit now to more analysis of the um, uh, of the uh, concept of um, um, uh, working from home and uh, this agentariat uh, redefining labor and uh, things along those lines. Um, but firstly, I want to say that this. Uh, uh, Agent Harriet is an historic opportunity unlike any other. You live in the most unique of times. And uh, uh, by embracing advanced uh, computing as a collaborative tool um, um, and a tremendous labor force multiplier and, uh, and work product multiplier, um, um, we can um, uh, build, a, 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 I believe, a genuinely utopian uh, society. But that requires a uh, uh, putting an end uh, to fascists. And uh, this is the essence of revolutionary cybernetic socialism, a world where um, intellectual and manual labor will be redefined in the ways that I have described, and no longer synonymous with make work, drudgery, exploitation, cruelty of many kinds. Um, and so work, I believe, uh, um, should be very little different in essence from art, a fulfilling and empowering experience uh, that unlocks human potential and paves the way for um, more just, uh, sustainable, and uh, incredibly prosperous uh, future for us all if we're willing uh, to do the necessaries of fighting against those who protect private wealth um, at the expense of the commons and our very survival. Um, um, the, um, the concept of this agentary workforce then um, uh, has a, a specific focus on inter the changing nature of intellectual and manual labor in this age of highly advanced computing or uh, so-called artificial general intelligence and a technological singularity or AI takeoff is my uh, preferred term because I don't uh, the AI pundits that I mentioned who are um, um, unserious people um, have a seem to have a vested interest um, or very strong interest in uh, mystifying these processes. I recently read a book um, by uh, one of the great uh, devils in human skin of the 20th century, uh, Henry Kissinger and Eric Schmidt and another author uh, uh, called The Age of AI. And um, um, uh, there was a, a re recurring uh, theme in that book was this idea that this black box of, a of advanced computing um, is something that we will have to accept, uh, which is basically just a lie coming from the ruling elites, people like Henry Kissinger, um, who's dead, may burn in hell. Um, um, he wrote this book shortly before his death. And um, um, the, um, um, uh, they want you to accept this black box, um, uh, this inscrutability, this singularity, idea uh, because um, um, uh, they want uh, to retain control of um, all world affairs and so much of world affairs um, and uh, economic affairs and um, they just want you to just be a happy little guy um, who, um, um, who has no control of your own life or no interest in understanding the world around you. Um, and uh, that's, of course, a recipe uh, for disaster relative uh, to the agent uh, that I've described. Um, these people are tech people, generally. Um, tech, as far as the U.S. and Western world is concerned, might as well be short for techno-fascism, uh, because that's who these people are, even the ones who call themselves anarchists. <laughs> um, they're, they're pretty fucking pathetic. Um, uh, so let's talk about the click-through process 
as it relates to the agent targets. Uh, said click and connect uh, in this context in recent show. Um, uh, this uh, traditional uh, ideas of intellectual and manual labor must necessarily undergo metamorphosis in this era of uh, stronger and stronger AI, uh, the agile digital assistant, the AI agent, and uh, the agentariat or AI agentic enabled class will usher in a new breed of, um, of manual worker and uh, intellectual worker, uh, one who um, of whom relatively little is required, and uh, yet who is um, remunerated um, uh, in in ways that uh, other laborers have not been. And we could call this uh, the uh, click and connect operative, uh, the human side of the AI agentariat. And um, so you can imagine uh, this workforce in, uh, working on projects like I described in Lagos. Um, or uh, working on projects uh, like I described um, relating to um, uh, save, uh, safeguarding the world from uh, capitalist uh, uh, climate apocalypse. Um, and uh, this is um, uh, this AI agent uh, collaboration is a workforce that guides and oversees this uh, vast network of AI agents, ensuring their productivity, preventing them primarily from veering off course and steering um, uh, their actions, uh, you can imagine, if you received a shortened uh, yes or no a series of emails uh, throughout the day, uh, you might be able to participate in a thing like this. Uh, we're doing very little work, um, but um, um, uh, the uh, AI agents in series hosted on your computer and others uh, would be able to be doing a tremendous amount of work. Of course, uh, an awful lot of things in this world do require manual labor. Uh, so these AI agents would be have, having to enlist um, uh, manual labors, manual labors as well, um, or u making use of automated systems as that becomes available. Um, um, uh, redefining manual labor in this uh, AI agentic era um, is no longer about physical exertion. Um, uh, manual uh, work can be done by non-manual workers. Uh, through high levels of automation and um, um, agentic planning. Um, um, this uh, um, uh, um, um, the, the, uh, the, so this a world of clicks, um, a, a world of clicks often described as a, in a frivolous frivolous way becomes the thing less frivolous in, uh, in this world of greater automation. Um, particularly advanced uh, computing automation. Um, um, the, the primary uh, work of, of human beings in this um, uh, system is in 2024, 2025, 2026, that uh, despite uh, their sophistication, uh, AI agents um, uh, will deviate from reality quite quickly. And um, it is not a very good use of resources uh, for um, AI agents to uh, be left to their own devices and undertake quixotic products um, and, and projects. Um, uh, so this uh, click and connect workforce uh, will be able to uh, tra train, uh, address, address and identify uh, these so-called AI hallucinations, um, ensuring that the, um, hi these highly automated uh, projects remain grounded in the um, highest utility and practicality. Um, uh, the algorithmic bias trap is well also well understood. Um, um, uh, AI algorithms uh, can perpetuate can and do perpetuate many existing societal uh, biases, and uh, the agent target must be equipped to identify and mitigate these biases, ensuring the automated uh, projects. Uh, uh, benefit all of society. By and large, um, this uh, uh, AI bias uh, conversation is one of little significance, and because, like almost everything that elitists, uh, tech people are elitists, uh, do, uh, they might make some effort to address a serious uh, problem, but it's uh, disconnected from material conditions, people's actual needs. Uh, so, 
um, it, it's, very, it's very performative and unmeaningful. Um, uh, uh, Google or Microsoft might talk about how they're not going to misrepresent um, in, in, any, in any way some um, um, ethnic group um, as they had maybe in, by accident in the past, um, uh, but all of that amounts to very little um, uh, when uh, there is a massive underclass um, um, uh, unable to um, uh, even have uh, uh, food and shelter. Um, uh, Over-reliance on the click, click and connect interactions uh, could lead to uh, a sense of t detachment from the actual work being performed uh, by the agentariat. Uh, so maintaining a holistic understanding of the automated process these remains crucial uh, for effective oversight uh, so there's um, people involved, um, um, except for uh, the highest level of engineers, probably at the s a start, uh, will have relatively limited uh, responsibilities um, um, uh, just to um, uh, be a sort of steering, a larger sort of steering committee in the, the spirit of uh, uh, crowdsourcing. Um, the, the, the role of revolutionary cybernetic socialist in this uh, coming world um, is to navigate these uh, challenges, uh, to r raise consciousness in this area so that um, people like the anonymous organizations uh, might be um, um, titillated uh, by this and download um, these uh, specialized Mistral or other open source chatbots to their machines and begin to do the work as described. Um, and um, but also um, um, uh, to um, uh, consider other uh, larger or longer term um, um, uh, uh, requirements beside um, besides building a base of users. Um, uh, so the open source development of oversight tools, open source development uh, of tools for identifying advanced computing bias and hallucinations. Um, it would be um, an important uh, field uh, for um, cybernetic socialists or people working on these projects specifically. Uh, the representative control of advanced computing networks. Um, um, you cannot have a system of this kind uh, without effectively democratic control uh, over advanced computing networks. Um, ensuring uh, a transparency and preventing them from becoming instruments of the very kinds of exploitation that they are designed uh, to defeat uh, once and for all. Uh, focus on uh, human flourishing over uh, frivolous uh, web-based activity and so forth. Uh, clicks are important, but um, um, uh, revolutionary cybernetic socialists fundamentally recognize we must prioritize a human well-being, um, sustainability, and stability. Um, upskilling and training programs, ensuring that uh, these um, um, new uh, agentariate uh, human beings uh, possess a broader understanding of the automated systems uh, that they are participating in. Uh, the benefits of the uh, click and connect agentariate um, uh, models, uh, um, there are several advantages here. Uh, dramatically uh, reduced uh, work hours for people um, um, participating was effectively a cooperative uh, that would provide uh, greater uh, benefits uh, than other work. Um, the um, automation of tasks uh, uh, frees up uh, human workers, allowing for uh, far shorter work weeks, work from home, uh, focus on uh, then uh, self-improvement, uh, creative pursuits, and uh, social engagement of a variety of kinds. Um, uh, increased worker safety, click and connect work eliminates risks associated with uh, much of uh, manual labor today, uh, which will lead to a safer and healthier work environment uh, for all. Um, again, um, uh, it's not feasible to say that um, uh, full automation of, uh, of actual manual labor tasks is, is going to happen uh, by next year or by uh, 2035 uh, even. Um, uh, but um, uh, work in this, I believe that work in this way will 
um, allow people to enlist manual labor as necessary, and um, uh, more importantly, as with all things, uh, be uh, far more efficient. Uh, efficiency uh, meaning uh, uh, requiring um, um, uh, less manual labor overall and far less waste and so forth. Um, the um, but this um, AI agentic class as a workforce uh, requires uh, new skill sets, the ability uh, to understand in the broadest terms um, um, advanced computing systems, um, sensitivity to the uh, kinds of problems like biases that I mentioned, and over uh, overall effective oversight. Uh, this um, uh, this, however, sh it should be stated that. Uh, these workers would not be required um, uh, uh, to be computer scientists or engineers or urban planners and, and such um, uh, because already uh, today uh, the AI agents uh, such as they are uh, uh, have that knowledge um, and as they are able to um, become uh, more effectively assistive uh, they will be able to provide that work uh, so the uh, job of humans in this uh, uh, becomes one that requires no continued specialized training. Um, um, ultimately, uh, the cybernetic socialist automation uh, for all, um, uh, the um, more techno-communistic outcome um, that's been described on earlier shows, such as those where I talk about a United Earth Directorate, um, by overseeing vast uh, networks of AI agents, uh, the click and connect workforce ensures that automation uh, serves fundamentally uh, humane and sustainable goals. That is all that a scientific socialist is. That is all that a communist is, is a person who is devoted uh, to um, um, a humane economic system uh, without which uh, there is no livable world for human beings in a few short years. Um, and um, uh, uh, more fascistic minded people and the ruling elites that they serve uh, will uh, tell you all manner of silly stories about uh, who scientific socialists or communists are. Those things are unmeaningful and um, um, in an earlier era they were unmeaningful uh, but today uh, they are uh, tantamount uh, to being an accessory to ecocide uh, because if we do not uh, set aside these lies um, um, our species will be extinct in as few as uh, four decades. Um, a glimpse into this AI agentic uh, workforce um, uh, guided by this click and connect uh, principle. Um, uh, this is a world um, where um, um, people like construction workers, um, a, a new, perhaps a new class of farm workers, um, uh, content uh, creators all have uh, unique and important roles to play, uh, uh, things that are um, undervalued or um, overlooked um, um, in this um, uh, more elitist set of institutions uh, that we uh, unfortunately labor under. Um, uh, how do we build uh, this uh, click and connect uh, um, a agentic class. Uh, the, uh, the, the transition to a more realized agentariat um, and this uh, important era necessitates a multi-pronged approach. Uh, we have to develop um, uh, the interfaces, which is, I don't think, um, uh, such a difficult task. Um, um, highly agentic uh, open source models are already uh, developed. Uh, making relatively small uh, changes uh, to them uh, so that they are um, uh, tailor-made for these tasks. Uh, this kind of mass collaboration, that is, um, is a relatively simple matter. Um, um, uh, but user-friendly interfaces uh, uh, should uh, facilitate an intuitive interaction with uh, these um, uh, advanced computing um, uh, uh, models and networks. Um, and uh, these interfaces should be accessible, of course, across various languages and able to ca uh, uh, cater to diverse uh, skill sets or even uh, limitations on the part of users. Um, 
within this agent target workforce. Um, uh, 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 focus on uh, uh, a specialized uh, kind of algorithmic literacy that we could call um, uh, cybernetic socialist systems thinking and related ideas. Uh, investing in educational programs that equip uh, uh, this burgeoning art, art agent aureat with the knowledge to understand advanced computing, identify this uh, so-called uh, the biases and so-called hallucinations, as it mentioned. Um, uh, global collaboration on oversight uh, tools, open source collaboration on developing tools for oversight and bias detection. It will empower uh, this increasingly global agent area to ensure advanced computing networks of the kind described operate for the benefit of all humanity. Uh, dramatic improvement over um, uh, this uh, uh, capitalist intensive world. Um, uh, building a, a strong social safety net as automation displaces jobs traditionally associated with intellectual and manual labor. Um, a robust social safety net uh, uh, far beyond that, I think even in uh, the best of circumstances today, uh, must um, uh, develop from this superstructure and from government bodies that currently exist. Um, in conclusion, um, the uh, 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 click and connect agent target model I believe pre presents a revolutionary vision for the future of intellectual and manual labor in, in an area where these uh, definitions will indeed begin to blur. Um, it offers an, an important um, and timely opportunity to redefine work, liberating human beings from drudgery and empowering them to oversee vast automated systems that will prioritize um, sustainable development, equitable resource dis distribution, and um, a variety of kinds of social well-being uh, not addressed today. Um, uh, by embracing the principles of revolutionary cybernetic socialism and systems thinking, we can ensure that the click and connect revolution as described empowers workers and does not replace them as we are on track to continue to exacerbate that problem under these um, systems of private wealth. And in, uh, by uh, fixing this most grievous of errors, we will pave the future way for pave the way for a future where technology does indeed serve all of humankind.